Welcome to Independent Solutions. Today we'll be going through how to troubleshoot a failed cache drawer. Before we start, please make sure your receipt printer is working. If it isn't, please click the link on screen and go through that video first. If your cache drawer fails during a busy period and you need to get into it, however you cannot find your cache drawer's key, you can do so with the quick release hatch. The quick release hatch is located on the bottom of the cache drawer towards the rear of the cache drawer. To activate it, you put your finger in, find the metal switch and press on it, as you can see on screen now. That will release the cache drawer insert and allow you to get into the cache drawer. The cache drawer communicates through the receipt printer to the point of sale. Make sure you unplug and replug the cache drawer cable from the POS printer. The cable you're looking for is the same one you can see on screen now. Each time you believe you've resolved the issue, you need to restart the POS software. To do this, you can click on Restart POS on the left of the screen, or you can click on the red cross in the top right. If your previous attempts to fix the issue have been unsuccessful, open the cash drawer and pull the insert out. Once you have the insert out, check the running rails and the solenoid at the back for any coins or notes that could be jammed, causing your issue. You'll notice here that I'm actually having issues getting the insert out of the cash drawer. This was due to a locked up running wheel on the left hand side, stopping it from coming out. In this case, I would need a new cash drawer insert. Thanks for watching. If you require further assistance, please email us at support at independentsolutions.com.au or call us on 1800 020 946. Did you miss one of our previous Ask the Expert sessions and need to catch up? If so, click on the link now and it'll take you to our playlist.